Okay, welcome back. This is EENG 460, and today we're going to look at the jump operation. Okay, so I've got a program here. Let's uh, bring it over here in the, in the window, all right? And we'll take a look at it. We have our usual comment stuff. Uh, we're going to just explore the jump command. Here's my data segment. Um, I've got three strings in here, message zero that just says demo program jump. Here is my uh, carriage return, and then here's my normal termination message. Then I've got my text section. Okay, I do my global directive to define the label my main in the event I need to access it from another file. And then let's see, we kind of have our usual stuff here. Okay. Oops. Um, first thing we're going to do is just uh, load immediate B0 with 4, load address message, and do syscall. That's going to print out the dem demo program message to the screen. Okay. Then um, we're going to um, print two carriage returns, and I've got uh, B0 equaling to 4, A0 equaling to the address of the string CR. Now that should be capital CR, since it's capital CR up there. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and do a load, load immediate. All right, that's going to put um, um, quad one into the register S0 with the load immediate command. Okay. Then at that point, um, S0 equals quad one. Then I'm going to execute the jump command. And the syntax of the jump command is fairly straightforward. It's just J, and then it's the label. Well, the label L1 is down here. And you've got to make sure that label's unique. Um, even in other procedures and stuff, if they have that label, it's gonna, you can't repeat it. You gotta um, have only one occurrence of the definition of this guy right here, L1 colon. And then I've got these uh, statements down here. Well, I'm gonna take the contents of S0, do an immediate add to it, and store the results in S1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. But if the jump condition actually works, that'll never happen, and S1 through S6 will um, stay their same value, which should be 0. Okay. And then um, once I jump to that label, you know, you don't have to have an executable command here. You could just put the label on the line by itself. I've got a comment statement here, and then I'm just going to do my normal termination. Print out a little normal termination message, and then load B010, call syscall, which terminates the program. All right. So at that point, let's go ahead and uh, make sure we save this. And we'll load it and step through it. File, reinitialize, load file. And let's see, this guy is the jump program. Okay. All right, so I've loaded it in there. Notice my registers, all my S registers are zero. Um, if I go to my uh, data segment, um, you know, we've got all this stack information in here. I scroll up to the top. Let's turn off the stuff we don't care about. Uh, let's see, uh, turn off the user stack. And yeah, there's my data. And then you can see those are my, uh, <coughs> my strings. Demo program, jump, normal termination. Go to the text, we can actually see our code. Now, over here is the code from your .s file, and this is what it gets translated to on the MIPS official green card. <coughs> All right, let's just hit F10 and see what happens. Okay, the first thing we did was we loaded V0 with 4, and now we're going to load A0 with the address of message. If I hit F10 again, I'm going to do a sys call. Well, that just printed to my console window. Let's bring my console window in here. And let's uh, shrink that guy down. Okay. And I'll put it down here. Now, anytime I um, hit syscall, that console window will come to the foreground. Okay. So um, I'm going to load V0 um, with 4 again. It's already in there, actually. And then I'm going to do load address, um, the address of carriage return into A0. And then I'm going to do two syscalls. And if I actually click in this window, you can see that now my cursor is down one line below, right down here. And then I can come back up to here, and I could do F10. I did another syscall. And if I put my cursor here, my arm highlight this window, my cursor's two lines. So that kind of verifies you did a uh, carriage return. Now I'm going to load immediate S0 with quad 1. All right, let's go to our integers and look at S0. S0 now has quad 1. Okay. Go back to our text. And at this point, I'm going to do a jump L1. Well, where was my L1 statement? Well, it's kind of hard to see. You don't really see where it is, but if I hit F10, notice it jumped way down here, okay? Load immediate B0, and then I just do my normal termination, and then there's my normal termination, and then if I 
hit uh, F10, and if I hit it again, it won't go anywhere, but it terminated the program. And if I hit F10 again, it'll start at the beginning. So yeah, we just bypassed all these add immediates, and we could go look at the registers S1 through S6 and see that, yeah, there's nothing in there. Nothing happened because we jumped over that text with the jump command. Now, it's kind of fun. How can you, like, um, how can you figure out where L1 is? Let's go back to our, uh, our file and see if we can uh, put... Um, put a, a statement in there. Um, let's see, so where's L1? What I could do is, um, well, let's see, I could put like, maybe I could do something like this. Let me try this. I'm not even sure if this will work. We'll just try it for fun. If I put a no op statement in there and I put that label right there, let's save this and see what happens. See if it'll take that no op. Okay, and this is what, jump, open, there you go. Great. So now, yeah, you see that no op down there? That's where my label is. And see this comment right here? Yeah, that kind of tells me where the label is. So as I start stepping through this guy, I get down to here. I'm going to jump to L1, but then my comment statement says, hey, there's where L1 is. And then I do an F10. I jump to my no op, which is no operation, and then we keep going. Yeah, great. So that kind of gives you a little debugging to kind of verify that you did, in fact, jump to where you wanted to. All right. Well, summary on this, this is the syntax for a jump. Um, just J and the label. And the label appears in another line of code. Let's bring the uh, the source code up here. Yeah, Here is the uh, jump instruction and there's the label and I put a no-op in there just so I could have a comment statement that I could actually see in the QT spam simulator. Alright, well that ends the jump instruction. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.